And also this is the Nikon F bar. Okay, so it comes in a great condition actually. So I'll show you how does the camera works and everything. Okay, so this is where we insert the film. So this thing, um, there's a, this thing right here, you push it up already and afterwards, just turn it. You can set the arrow when it goes to open, just go ahead and take it out. And here is your, um, where you put the film. So to put the film is very easy as well. This thing is the film, so we just get a separate of film, put it right here. Okay, and then put at this one of the slits right here. Okay, and afterwards, just wind it. Okay, after you wind already, just go ahead and put it inside. Put the film back. Okay, put it right here, put it right here. Afterwards, Wind it, and then when you see that it goes to close already, you just put it back like this. And after that, you can see that when you wind dry, this thing it will wind as well. Lah. Inside the film has been loaded properly. Lah. Okay, and this is gonna be the first shot. Lah. Okay, second shot, third shot, and so on. Okay, so how do we use this camera? It's actually very easy. Lah. So, the first thing first is the focusing. So, this one is for you to focus the subject. Lah. Uh, let's say you are shooting a. Uh, so, this is what you're going to see from the viewfinder. You just. At the same moment, you can just go ahead and turn this thing. So, the white color one stands for the meter. So, how how many meters it is from the camera. So, let's say like this. You can see that in the middle, right? There's two split thingy right there. If it shows like this, inside it's not in focus. Uh. You have to make sure that it goes like this. Okay, see there's no like speed thingy. Or that means that it's focused already uh, like this. Okay, so let's say for the shirt, same thing as well. So let's say you can see that if it's like this, means it's not in focus. Uh. You have to make sure that it goes like this. Yeah, go into the middle. Uh. Okay. So that's for the focusing. And for the aperture, you can actually change it right here. Okay, so this is for the aperture lah. And then for the light meter, you press this button right here already and then you can see that this thing goes up to here lah. And then you can just change around the shutter speed lah. Okay, so how do we use this? is actually very easy as well. So first thing first, um, I have to explain to you how does the light meter works. So this is for releasing the button. You, re you press this button already after it goes up, you can just take this out. And then you can see the image from up here lah. So how do we do it? It's actually right here. You can see there's an image right there. And you can just focus lah, like what we said just now. In the middle. Okay? And it's the balak, the balik minya lah. When it goes to right side, it goes to left. When it goes to left side, it goes to right side. Okay. So how does this actually work? It's actually the... Right now I'm going to show the shutter speed lah. So each shutter speed is different. So this is bug mode. Okay? As long as you press the shutter, the shutter opens lah. So this one is 1 over 2 seconds. And this one is 1 over 15. And this one is 1 over 60. And this is 1 over 250. And this is 1 over 1000. Okay, so how does this actually work? It actually depends on the um, light situation. Like you can change around uh, the shutter speed and also the aperture. You can go ahead to your phone and download the light meter app in order for you to uh, expose your your image better lah. and for this I also right here so how do we change this is actually very easy just push this up okay and then right now because the lens we use is a 50 f2 so according to this tool lah. so let's say if your film is 100 ISO I just put it as 2 to the ISO let's say if your film is like 200 ISO you put a 2 like 200 so how do we change it is like pushing up like this and tune it okay so basically that's how you use the camera lock. okay so i'm gonna put it at 200 because usually the film is 200 right now okay so f2 to 200 okay and this is for you to change the shutter speed as well it tells you what shutter speed you're using right now so let's say right now we can put it at bulk mode first so it's bulk mode 
Okay, so we put that bomb already. And then how do we put it back? It's just okay, find the spot right here. And then just clip it back. Just push it. Okay, so we push it back already. You should see that in the viewfinder. Everything goes so well. Okay, everything is okay. And then for the needle right here, because there's actually a needle right here. We just have to do this. Push it to the middle. Like this. Okay. Push it right here like this. And then just turn this thing at the same time. Now when you change the aperture, you can see that it moves already, means that it's working. Okay, so how do we use the light meter? Right now that's the question. So right now you see uh, I can have a look here. You see uh, this needle when I turn the shutter speed it actually goes to different ways one. What does it mean is actually um, to the light meter la. like it changes according to the light sources as well. So you have to make sure that it goes to the middle. Okay, like this. Then eventually all your photos is gonna be fine. La. Or else you can just uh, shoot it at like 1 over 60, 1 over 30, like this. And then the aperture can change it accordingly as well. Then eventually you will know how to use the camera as well. I will send you a cheat sheet for the settings of the camera as well. On how to use the shutter speed and aperture and everything. So that is easier for you to use the camera as well. And the next thing is the self timer. So the self timer, you just wind it. After you wind already, push it down. Press this thing right here, and it will start to come down for 10 seconds. Okay, so basically that's it for the camera. Okay, and then after that, when you want to rewind the film, it's very easy as well. Just go ahead and take this thing up. Okay. And then... And then there's a button right here. You push this thing to like this R side. Okay. So you can see that I push it to R side already. Okay, push it to R side already. And then you can just start to wind. When you wind, you can see that this thing it turns as well. It means that you are rewinding the finger. Okay. After you feel that it became loose already. Let's go ahead and take a few more by opening the back of the camera, slide it down, take a few more. So that's it. Thank you.